guys so this is the garage it's not much yet but it's gonna be my base of operations so I'm gonna start uh, building it out from here so I'm gonna just go over some of the stuff I have and what I need to get and where I need to go next for this project to succeed okay so first things first so I have a drill press here so I think that's going to be important for drilling out certain parts. It was a bit of a preemptive buy. I've always wanted one. So I took the opportunity right now to go ahead and grab it. And these are like clamps for the, this workbench that I bought right here. It's not much right now, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, use that for, for most of the, the tools and stuff. And I have a little tool chest over here. And luckily they're all the same brand, huh? How funny is that? I didn't even do that on purpose. So I got four of these, you know, to hold stuff down. I also purchased some of these. It's gonna be helpful when I'm using the epoxy because I just, I don't know how to weld and welding is gonna be later on in the future. So I'm gonna be using JB Weld to hold everything together. I think it's because it's like compressive force, it's downwards. It might be fine with JB Weld, so. That's going in the bin. And I have some other clamps, bigger ones as well. Torque lock, Milwaukee. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use that, but I'll figure it out. And right here I have a bandsaw. All right. It's a Ryobi bandsaw. I don't think it comes with a band. And if it does, I don't think it supports cutting metal. So I might have to pick up a, a nine inch band blade. I'm gonna have to get a couple more tables for all the parts and things of that nature. And just, I'm gonna line them up all along this wall right here. And I'll just go across and just capture myself from another angle. So I made a mistake and I bought two of these um, inverters. So I guess we have a backup. This is a, just a monitor out here. If I need to do some programming or something, I can come out here and just do that. I need to get a... Um, I need to get a chair out here so I can uh, sit down and do whatever programming is necessary. Um, and a very expensive mouse. This is the uh, vase amount. Let's see if I can uh, I can show you how it looks. So this is how it's going to be mounted in the car. I can set the angle right here. I think I can also um, turn it as well. So I have two axes of um, adjustments there I can make. And this is the infotainment tablet. So it's just a Surface Book 2. Man, it's a pain in the ass, but I've gotten to a good spot with it. I have GPS working. Um, I, got, I, I bought the Surface dock and I have a spare. Unfortunately, I cannot get this thing to work for the life of me with the Surface dock, HDMI. Um, display port, mini display port to HMI. Um, so this is what would be the instrument cluster display where I'd um, show you pretty much the speed and the uh, RPMs. Uh, I can't get that working so I'm going to see if I can do H, uh, USB to HDMI uh, if the dock's HDMI port just won't um, work with it. Funny thing is it gets, it picks up the EDID information as you can see right here. It's uh, uh, 1920 by 480. It picks up, picks up the EDID, and I know it works on uh, Ubuntu, and I know it works on Windows 10, but it will not display an image with the Surface Book using the dock. So I'm going to have to figure out a way around that. It's an older Surface Book. I can use the parts. It looks like the batteries are expanding. So I might need to take the batteries out and uh, dispose of them so my garage doesn't burn down. Um, TP link right here, the Wi Fi, and the draggy. I'm, I'm gonna have to get this, I'm gonna have to figure this out next. I'm gonna make a video about that when I have a chance. And then this is the OBD2, OBD2 adapter, and it does work. I, I tested it with my Ubuntu laptop. I was able to get, um, using scan tool application, I was able to get a reading from the OBD2 port on my um, Crown Vic. Plus a bunch of the adapters on there. I'm gonna have to find a spot to put them. These are the the rails for the armrest and the um, infotainment. This is the Surface dock, and boy, is it expensive. I'll start putting in pieces one by one. So let's see. So this one right here is a a GlobeSat, 
um, 353S4. It is a serial device, so it, um, once you, once you um, install the driver, it's on one of the COM ports, and it does not support Windows location out of the box because it uses the NMEA API or whatever. So you have to use uh, an application called GPS Direct that translates that NMEA um, data to Windows location. So this is how I plan on having physical controls instead of having everything being touched. Um, is using the Stream Deck. So I'll be able to, there's a Stream Deck um, node API that I can write uh, images to um, each individual cell. I can listen for uh, quick events or I can just listen for events on the uh, on the buttons. Yeah, I've connected four USB ports, but I believe I need five. So I'm gonna have to get an adapter. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this display as well. And I'm gonna connect to it with a display port to HDMI adapter. That I casually throw on the floor here somewhere. Okay, that's a USB-C cable. Uh, this looks about right. Okay, so display port to HDMI adapter dongle. So now we have Google displays up already. Okay, so now we have both displays, but here, here's a cool, this is the one thing that's worked out of the box, is the volume. Volume now, so I got the volume going up pretty quick. And mute as well. So that's working flawlessly. So this is my R&D space. Um, I definitely need to um, get more tables. You know, line them all along the wall here so I can have more workspace. And I need to get a tool chest. As you can see, I'm outgrowing the small one that I had. Um, and I need to unbox these and get the right pieces for them. I have to get like a wooden like workbench to, to, to um, screw them down into for stability. I don't, I don't, I don't know if we can imagine, it's gonna sit somewhere here in between. Then it's gonna just stay right there in between the two rails, somewhere along the, in the, the center of the car. It's gonna keep the vase amount in place. All right, so that's it. This is the beginning. This is Genesis. And we'll keep working forward um, on this project.